Hi there. Welcome to Gaming and Tech HQ. Today we're jumping into a game called Sizable, donated by the developers. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got this little island here. Once upon a time. Let's play. Okay, so there seems to be five packs here. So let's jump into the first level. So it says scroll to resize objects. So we can change the size of objects. Right click to rotate the world. Left button to pick up an object. Although it doesn't seem to want to let me pick it up. R to reset, escape to open options. So I've got something that says two here. Maybe we need to put that on top of the number two. So what am I doing here? I've got a battery. Do I need to make it bigger? Where should the battery go? Onto the battery bit. Maybe if I make the battery bigger. There we go. And here's another battery. This reminds me of Super Liminal. In a way. Resizing objects and working with perspective. And then this number two. Maybe we should make it bigger so it fits in the thing. There we go. And then we've got this. Maybe it needs to go in there. Okay, and then there was also there's also a turtle icon. So I wonder if there's an aim to um spot the turtle. Maybe. Because I did see a turtle. So let's see if that's something we should have done, shall we? I just want to check if that's something we should have done or not. Had a fiddle with the turtle. Because look, we've got one there. Yeah, there we go. So we're also meant to find a turtle on each level. Okay. That's doable. We can do this. Let me just finish off this level again. Alright. Because then our turtle icon should fill up as well. Yes, it goes white. Okay. We've got a level called Seaside here. Ah, I can decrease the size of the water. There's a battery. Let's get that out. I don't know what we're doing with it yet. We've also got a treasure chest here. With another treasure chest in. With another tre treasure chest in. Which has a pillar in. There we go. And there's nothing else in these as far as I know. Let's try doing something with this boat. No. Should we spin round have a look over here? See what we can find. The lighthouse can go bigger and smaller. There's a battery. But I still don't know what I'm doing with the batteries. Oh, that's the battery we've already picked up. Okay, ignore that. So we can change the size of that. We can change the size of those. We've got that, which has some kind of light inside it. Which we can also change the size of. Maybe it needs to go into the lighthouse. Maybe that's where the batteries are going. Maybe we're giving power to the lighthouse. What could I do with this light orb I've got? So that just changes the level of water. I can make the trees smaller and the lighthouse. The lighthouse can go really quite small. But what else do we need? Could the battery go in there maybe? Or maybe not. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. We've got another boat here now. Now, what could we do? Now, we turn that on. Let's drop this in another boat. It won't let me make that new boat bigger. Maybe we need to float it up. There we go. 
And it's got a pillar on it. This is a very clever game, actually. There's our turtle. What else does the boat have on it? Nothing much. So we need one more pillar to finish the level. Where could it be? This must be significant in some way. Don't know how though. We can change the size of the lighthouse, that's possible. Where is the last pillar? There's nothing else on that boat. Or in those chests. Let's send down the water levels again. I wish there was an option to zoom in. There might be. I might just be really bad at controls. I'm just trying to look for the next pillar. And I'm not seeing it. Uh, something in there. We've got another orb of light. There it is. I don't think those orbs of light were particularly relevant. They were a red herring. That was what we needed. Let's jump into the next one. Are we needing three pillars still? Yes, we are. Oh, I'm getting rid of everything. There's a pillar. What have we got here? A cat. So we can make those all into cats. What should I do with them now I've made them all into cats? I don't know. Can I change the size of this? Yes. I can't change the size of the pyramid itself. That's not possible. So we need to find more pillars. This cloud must be key. But then we've done what there is to do with that. So maybe it's not key anymore. These can go up and down. But I don't know how it's relevant particularly. There's a cat, then there's an eye, then there's a cat. Maybe we need to do the pattern that's on the pyramid. Cat, then all the way up. Yeah, that's what we need to do. But I don't know how to get it halfway up. Can you get them halfway up? Uh, how do I get that halfway up? Okay, I did it there. It is possible. You can do it. I did it. Uh... I've messed this up. One second. Let me see if I can plug in a controller and fix it that way. That might be a way to fix it. Because I don't know if this game even has controller support. But I can't do that with, my, with the type of mouse I've got. Because I've got a magic mouse. It doesn't have a proper scroll wheel. And it's a bit hard to use. No, it won't support my controller. Okay. Well, we're going to have to... Just keep persevering. There we go. Just need the last one now. Which is a beetle. But I don't know how to do that. I've got some of a beetle on here. 
I've got something with a beetle on here, and I've got something with a beetle on here. Maybe we need something that will sit on that button. No. I've got three things with a beetle on. Ah. There we go. But before we do that, we need to try and spot the turtle. Where could it be? In there. They changed the colour of it. There we go. Next one. Campsite. So I've got a campfire. Here. I've got a tent. We're ready to melt this snow. There's a pillar. I can melt all the other snow as well. Let's spin this round. Yeah, there's still snow over here that needs melting. Is that our turtle there? We've also got an axe. But that doesn't seem to be particularly relevant. Yeah, there are quite a lot of trees. Yeah, so we can put the tent up and down. What else could we do? What else could we do? We've done what there is to do with the fire now. That's done. Ah, there's something in there. I didn't notice that. Here we go. What else do we have in here? Oh, it's a horn that blows over trees. There it is. That was quite an easy level compared to some of the other ones. Let's go to the next one. Seasons. Okay, so we can have snow. We can have winter and summer, basically. So let's start in the winter. We could try and build a snowman. Ah. So that goes down in the summer, which finds us our turtle. And how do we get that other one to go down? Has a picture of a leaf. Are there two seasons or ah there's one. What's that? Oh that's just a tree branch, okay. I think there's multiple seasons. Yeah, there was one. There's one in the middle just there as I went through. This game needs a different mouse to the one I've got. Here we go. There's one. Then there must be one here as well. How to get to it though. We can make the flowers bigger. How to get to it. Is 
See, I've got some snow here. Maybe we have to move all the flowers because the flowers turn into snowmen. So if we move them all. Is it there? No. How do I get to the next pillar? See, it's showing in the corner that we don't have to snow the winter one. But I'm sure we got the winter one. Yeah, because we got out of that tree there. Don't know how to get the last one. Try and get back to the third season. So they turn into pumpkins here. What if we put them in this gap? So that nothing can go up? Would that be any help? Put it there. Then we just get flowers in different places. Where would the last pillar be? We haven't found one in the summer season. Basically. But I wonder if it will be to do with how many snowballs there are. This game could probably do with a hint system. If you get stuck on it for a while, they can add hints in. Because I'm a bit stuck. And I don't know how to find it. Where is the last pillar? Be good if you could clip the sun to change as well instead of having to scroll because the scrolling's a pain. But overall, I like the game. It's just for people playing on a laptop and people playing with a magic mouse like me, it's going to be a pain because we don't have a scroll wheel and I'm not seeing another way to do it. Is there no hint? Question. Oh, that's just if we want to show those or not. Yeah, there's no hints and there's no option for the scrolling either. Well, I think I'm going to end here for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.